Hello, Sipper. Welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Frenchie, with stamping up at FrenchieStamps.com. Today, it's a quick tip video. One of the best uh, tool or product that I added in my craft room for stamping, uh, it's a life changer for me. So I bought myself a bottle, and this is like those bottles that you, if you go get your nails done, they put the solution in there and you see, and it's cool at the top. Well, I bought that pretty blue one, aqua blue. Well, it's not a spill proof. So you wanna make sure when you buy this, you buy the spill proof. Not only that you, do, you say, oh, I won't tip it and make a mess. Um, it will um, evaporate because alcohol evaporate kind of quick. So you want a spill proof. This here, I'm using that with the premium nail white. You're gonna say that is just a cotton ball. It's not just a cotton ball. It's a lot uh, stronger and not only stronger, but they're very rough. They wouldn't feel good in your face, you know? Um, so. I'm using that. That's going to last me forever, 240. I will have all the link, the bottle, this, the link that all the stuff that I use, minus the alcohol. Um, I use I use the 91%. 70% will work, but 91%, I like that a lot in my craft room. Some people say you cannot find it. I get, I'm talking about the U.S. So if you're in another country, then I'm not sure, okay? Uh, that I got it at Walmart. And so you want the premium nail wipes. And like I said, they're lint free, uh, soft and uh, highly uh, absorbent. I don't know about the soft, okay? Uh, that we're gonna, that's for another discussion. So you get the paper in the back. So what you would do is just tap it a few times. See, you wipe it and then see it is spill proof. I love that. Now, when your blocks are dirty, like I got ink there, you're just going to wipe it. And usually I'm going to uh, keep uh, my inky rag that I don't know what I did with it. I had it. Well, what the heck I did with it? Oh, here it is. So I would just wipe it after. And then if you get glue on it, just wipe your glue off. Boom. See? It clean very lovely. Now, your scissors. How many of you get scissors like this one? I think you can see all the glue on it. I just finished a few cards that I really. So you just gonna wipe this. That um, it is amazing how it wiped that. Usually the glue I like like W forty or um, let me think. W40 or um, those adhesive pad remover, but this 91% alcohol, it's just see completely. So it's gonna wipe your scissors very lovely. See how the difference, I think you saw it in the picture. Look at this here, you see all, I even get paper stuck there. Just be careful, but these, I'm not really worried about them because they're very, um, how can I say, um, they're not soft and they're very strong. So, uh, but still be very careful when you do your scissors. There, I still have a bit, just go there, voila. See the difference? I think you can see the difference even in a video. Okay, so we did scissors, we did our block, now, I am sure I'm not the only one here. I still have some pinkish on this here. One minute. Let me, because, um, yeah, you just remove completely your, here we go. I didn't dry it good, I guess. Okay. I am sure I'm not the only one. See this, 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 this. On your paper trimmer, you get the glue. See, you just remove this. Or sometimes it's just get, you know, it's normal that you get glue. After all, we work with glue. Now I'm going to clean that. Another thing, I know I get another video, but I'm still going to show you uh, during this one. A toothbrush 
in your craft room, it's another great tool. So you can clean the track of this here. So it's going to make a difference when you cut. But see, I already just very, no effort at all. And you get all that glue off your track. So amazing to clean your paper trimmer. Now, many times we get our ink pad and we get smear all on it. Then if you're like type A personality, OCD, voila, you can clean that. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think that um, I would use a new pad every time because there are very, oh, I get glue right here. There are very um, solid. You can just leave it by your bottle and use it till you see that, okay, they're not usable anymore. So a pack of 240 going to last you a long time. So maybe you want to split with a few of your stamping friends. So that is it, my friend. So that lovely bottle, and you don't need this bottle. You can use just this with wipe. I understand that. But it's so handy. Just flip this, press it, and then you're ready. And what I like, see, you get those little, that little older there that you really can shake or pass it without like your scissors cutting yourself pretty much. So still do it with careful though. That is it. I will have the link. I got this and this on Amazon. I will have the link for you to go right on it. And then the 91% I got it at Walmart. That is it for now, my friend. I hope this tip video uh, got you with um, um, in your craft room to help you clean your product and use it more uh, efficient. Till next time, happy stamping.